Hello and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we will be reviewing solution explorer enhancements and also some C# -sharp code editor enhancement. So now, let's start first thing first with the solution explorer. Now, if I open the solution explorer, notice right here this icon, okay? Now, this icon will allow you to switch from the solution view to the folder view and notice that it giving us the path that we have stored the code in okay so now we are just like exploring uh, this folder which is contain our solution okay and we can interact with the different files over here okay so to switch back we can come over here select it okay and as you notice we will have different commands whenever we select the folder view or the solution view including the bending change filter okay so that's first thing first for the folder and solution view okay now let's try to search okay if you want you can select control plus semicolon right here as you notice this is the shortcut and it will take you directly to the search inside the solution okay you can look for different things let's look for the student class okay and it has find us okay so now if i expand the drop down right here okay it will give us two options okay if you want to search within the file contents and if you want to include external items which is really cool okay so that's for the improved search for the solution now something really cool if i hit right click notice this pr uh, this option right here now this option it's enable the solution to be loaded much faster okay and can be used for like c sharp projects that has multiple projects inside it okay if we select this option the solution should load much faster okay if you want to enable by default the fast or the enabling of uh, lightweight solution load you will need to go to tools options and you need to select projects and solution okay now notice that this option by default will make all the solution to be lightweight loaded okay so go ahead and select it and i will hit ok so any future projects should contain the lightweight load okay so now that's for the lightweight uh, load okay now let's explore a bit on the code editor enhancements okay now first thing first now notice with me that we have these namespaces in like a light gray okay in a different color okay now why is that because we are not using these reference namespaces okay now if i come over here and notice that we will get this light bulb okay now if i expand it notice that we are seeing that these namespaces are not needed and are not used and we can remove them okay now we have some really nice options down here okay first one is preview changes we will see where the changes will go what will the file look like after we do this changes if i come back we have also more options we can tell it to remove it from the entire document the entire project or the entire solution so we are not only limited to this file okay now of course uh, the default templates will, will include will include uh, some unused namespaces so always remove your unused namespaces so i will go and tell it for the entire solution to remove it oops the action the action for some reason did not execute it but i will execute it again and as you notice we don't have any more unused namespaces so that's for the light bulb now uh, this 
this like uh, resharper extension which come uh, by default with Visual Studio can also perform different actions okay so now let's try to declare a variable okay and I will call it X and I'm gonna just give it this value okay now if I come over here notice we will get also the light bulb which will help us refactor our code so if I open it notice that we can set this uh, this uh, field or uh, this field as a property and have it a property okay so if I hit this one it will automatically generate this uh, property for us okay so the light bulb can help us enhance our code and make it uh, like much uh, better and also help us in refactoring okay so that's for the light bulb okay if I come over here also notice if I hit right click we can get uh, like on this uh, on this uh, uh, field the quick actions again okay and we can execute it and as you notice the shortcut for it is control and dot okay now let me just come over here okay notice we can also create like uh, if we come to the class name itself can give us some help like we can extract an interface from it let's hit ok it will automatically generate the code for us for this interface and as you notice it's include the x property ok if I come over here also we can we can again extract the interface for the interface so it has some useful commands and things that we can use okay so that's for the uh, for the uh, light bulb and also notice that the recommended name for the classes is always to start as capital and as you notice it's still us that it can fix the violation to become student okay so let's do that and it help us also maintain maintain the recommended coding style for uh, our uh, C sharp code okay so now that's for the quick actions now uh, Visual Studio includes some really cool feature which is the navigation now if you hit control plus T you will get this nice little search box okay now uh, the beautiful the beautiful thing about this search okay let me just add the symbol of question mark notice that we can search in different types okay you can search for symbols uh, we can search for a specific uh, line we can search for uh, this list we can search inside certain files we can still search for members or types okay so now uh, let's say I would like to go to the line number it okay and if I hit na a, a enter it will take me to the eighth line okay let's hit control and T again now you can also as you notice from here come to it and search let's say for files I would like to search for the student file okay notice that as soon as you type in the name it will take you to the file okay if I with the arrows right here notice it will take us to the files okay and we can navigate them quickly we can also search for types okay notice it's uh, show us types and the classes and interfaces okay and it's also given us some infos okay we can search for members let's look for uh, the startup uh, uh, method right here or constructor I'm sorry as you notice show us let's look for the for uh, the uh, me member function okay uh, and notice that it's not only limited to C sharp 
it's also searching for us inside the JavaScript files. So that's that's a really nice feature. Okay, and finally, if you include symbols, you can do that. Now we have some options right here. Okay, you can limit your search to the current document. Okay, or you can also include other files. Okay, now if you come to the settings right here, you can select to show or hide detail. You can, if you don't like the quick preview or a quick navigation, you can disable it. You can also se select this search to be in the center of the screen if you like so. So that's for the enhanced navigation and search. Okay. Now, uh, let's see the references. Okay, if I come over here and I select shift and F12. Now, it will show us all the references for this type right here. Okay. So for the student class, it has no references at all. Okay. If I come to the x right here notice that it show me the exact line and where is it referenced okay uh, you can also hide show different columns like the path different things and you can navigate it quickly to them okay so that's for the find the references and as you notice the name of the tab like it will not go it will remain okay you can also require the results to be re kept okay and you can also select some options to limit your results okay these options to limit also your results so you don't get too many results and also you can copy move, move uh, next previous to the definition okay so these things like can be really useful and also you can also search the references right here so you can also get more enhanced results okay so that's for the find all references okay now the final thing we want to show you is the guiding lines right here okay the guiding lines as you notice as soon as i hover over it it will show me where uh, or uh, what, what is the container for this class let's say okay and also where i am which uh, bracket currently i am okay as you notice so it's a really nice cool feature you it, it you used to have to install an extension to do that and see these guiding line guiding lines so this is some really nice and cool feature added it to visual studio okay so i hope you enjoy and find this lecture useful thank you for watching